Lisa Matthews here. I would love for you beautiful people to hear about my journey from kitchen to she shed. Hmm, mystery, eh? I want to tell you how and why I started Atlanta Scalar. It's because someone I love in the family came down with terminal cancer, two types, and was already doing the planning, the end of life stage. And I thought, no, mm -mm. so I just started researching and researching and researching. And I found out that scalar energy is a very powerful informational energy that is not like anything on the electromagnetic spectrum at all. It is helical and it travels over infinite distances and never degrades over distance. Similarly, DNA is helical and then interesting and it is pretty much informational. So you can take a picture, for example, or someone's name, or in, in the case of this person, the picture, read the bio uh, field. And um, of course, with Eric's help, we do all this uh, uh, and, you know, have some sort of prayer of intent because you, you know, it's like the thought creates reality, right? The law of attraction. And um, so I did that and uh, I've been working with different frequencies that Eric sets. And that's where he comes in. He sets the, the main thing he does is set frequencies. And, um, you know, we're working on making him better and it already has helped a lot. I don't know if it'll cure him. I, I, it's a very tough thing. Uh, but anyway, that's where I started. So then um, I asked Eric because Raylene knew, um, um, Nuanias, Nuanias, it's an Inye actually, but um, came over and found some portals in my house. And what are portals? I don't know where the negative entities come through them. So I thought about that and I thought, I wonder if people could have portals in their body. I said, yeah, can you, Eric? I said, oh my God, yes, mom, and you are Swiss cheese. So he taught me how to close those just like Raylene did. And thought, so I thought, well, if, if I have them and negative entities came at them, maybe other people do too, and maybe we can help them together. So anyway, that's why we started doing portal work, closing open portals in people's energy bodies and homes, uh, very often caused by trauma, um, and also getting rid of the negative entities that flew out of these portals. And uh, oh, and they are terrible. Oh, they're bastards. But also doing the same for their home. You know, also uh, opening portals that have been closed, again, usually by trauma, they're supposed to be open to bring in, you know, creative consciousness and creativity and abundance of finances and health and wealth, wealth, I already said that, and love, etc. And so I remember one of the first I did was this young lady who sent me a selfie of this, you know, had this horrible negative entity peering over her shoulder and she says, help. So Eric and I worked on her all night, closed all the bad portals, opened all the good ones, got rid of the negative entities. And just shortly thereafter, she got a huge check from some relative. So the opening the closed portals really did work. So I thought, wow, this is really cool. Now, it was not that easy because it's been, a, there's been a, so much trial and error trying to figure out how to do this. You know, I had this little prayer I had this little prayer, one paragraph that is represented by the, because I, I don't want to say it every time. So I said, okay, let this be represented by the word apples. I don't know why. And so I used that to protect myself against these bastards. But I found myself just still getting, I was a racked body racked in pain and nauseated and hair falling out by clumps because of the negative entities that were transferred to me. In fact, when I took a bath, even if I was completely clean, I would drain the tub and there would be black scum because of that. So I had to add more and more protection, more and more protection and more and more protection. And now I've got like a 19 page prayer. Uh, but I also had to um, use a, a mix of essential oils. I found out I had to have Herkimer diamonds, a certain type of Herkimer diamonds and a certain arrangement sitting on a certain um sacred geometry configuration of Herkimer necklaces and Herkimer bracelets it's just you know it's crazy some are coiled some are circumferential and this is all just by just trial and error and um but also I had to put the, this mix of essential oil on myself and one of the things I had to do is pour it on top of my crown chakra so I had to wear like this karate kid get up you know it was really cool looking not really
um, uh, to so that the so that I could, um, you know, so so that the scalar energy waves could travel more easily from the scalar machine and the intent card and all that and and my intent for them um, to them and their home and their pets and all that. So, oh, I had to get these tassies. I didn't never heard of that name, but my daughter told me mm, I need something done here. Anyway, um, to get it, keep it from dripping into my eyes because that shit burns. And it also is a really good, if you want to strip down furniture, it works good. That stuff works. It was not, we lost a lot of furniture that way. But also I had to do Palo Santo, I do sage. And the Palo Santo would be all in the air. And finally, I got some sort of infiltrate in my lung from just inhaling all this. Slow learner. Anyway, uh, just to keep the negative entities out. Uh, and also, I had to play uh, a special Hertz tone super loud um, to also help the scalar waves. I still have to do that. So I had to wear a respirator eventually. First a mask that went up in this big ass um, respirator and ear anyway so I was in the kitchen doing all this on the kitchen island and the family was not happy eventually it's like my god it's so smoky in here why are the door handles all greasy mom what it's just awful dripping off the counter the countertop onto the cabinets dripping the paints uh, and I had to buy everybody <laughs> big earplugs, ear, earphone, uh, what a hearing protection devices. And uh, they'd come in and, Mom! you know, it was, so anyway, they took the storage shed and just converted it to the, well, they called the she shed. So I could, mom, go, go. It's like, I felt like a little old Eskimo lady where you get old enough, they put you on an ice floe and bye. So anyway, I, I walk a few steps to beat traffic and go to work every day in my she shed right now i don't have the diamond array configured right because i had to clean them They're, you know the oil gets really dirty after a while and then all of a sudden things don't work as well um but it's been quite a journey and now that i've done the uh, all the work on myself too like empath protection then I, i'm not attacked so much by the negative entities early on though um I just picked up the dowsing rods in the kitchen outside of the scalar field and decided to ask Eric a question. And then I go, oh my God, I forgot the prayer thing. Apples, 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 apples. But it was too late because that night, this horrible black blob with glowing red eyes was zooming around my bedroom and then whoosh, coming up to me and it made me so afraid. I was grabbing my husband, oh God, what's going on? But then I thought, oh no, they, they feed on fear. But anyway, so uh, Eric cleaned my energy the next day. In fact, I have to have my energy cleaned every day. Dirty girl that I am. And um, I have to recite this energy cleaning uh, prayer. And um, people don't realize that, you know, for $6, I ask Eric a yes or no question. But it actually takes kind of a long time because I have to do this special prayer to burn the negative entities at every single frequency and for that person and for me. So you have to clear out everything. Otherwise you're not gonna get accuracy at all. So there's that. And um, so there's a lot of nuances. I look back and, oh my God, I've gone, I've come so far from all the mistakes I have made. But now that I have also did uh, done the new uh, service on myself, increasing psychic gifts, it just comes in so much easier, the information. So, um, Anyway, but at first I was asking all sorts of questions. But then my dowsing rod, Eric, did Bella uh, pee there on the floor with somebody else? You know, and things like that. It's like, does Bella need to poop? Anyway, but I'm, I'm past that. <laughs> now I'm, I'm very excited because Eric wants me to expand. We do so much. And a lot of it is like help from mediums, you know, decalcifying the pineal, opening the third eye, opening the crown chakra to its maximum width. Uh, awakening kundalini, activating DNA, uh, clearing all energy blocks. And, uh, and of course we do the portal work. Now in 35% of cases, we discovered that portal work is not always successful because somebody is an extreme empath or they have spiritual contracts that deny them happiness and success, or they have a lot of energy blocks and that's what we call the trifecta. So now Eric has bundled 
the trifecta service so it's cheaper with portal work to make super portal work i just want to go in with my batwoman cape and uh, do that one uh but but now i'm trying to um remove myself from some of the mediumship stuff we're going to wean away from that and, and find other people to help with that because i've got so many other services to do for example um uh the relief from pain i try that on myself and some other people friends of mine and oh it works great i had horrible neck pain for almost two years maybe two years and it got rid of it it takes a while you know four days minimum and then like two two weeks but so now we do that for the neck, shoulders, hips, lumbar sacral spine, um, sacroiliac joints. I can't remember what else. Anyway, I, I think that's it. So was it toe, shoulders, knees and toe, head, shoulders, knees and toe. That song is now running in my head forever. Uh, and it will be all day. Uh, but also we do, I uh, tried the, uh, Eric gave me the script now he writes all the scripts. He sets all the fees, by the way, and um, um, and the, all the frequency sets for addiction relief from addictive substances and addictive behaviors of any kind. So I did that on some people too, and it really helps me because ever since Eric died, it's like I gotta have my wine at night. And now I don't even give a flying, you know what, rats, you know what, about it. So it it really works. So we decided to go ahead and offer that. We're still testing it some, and then. Um, uh, yeah, we, we're, we're testing age reversal, where it's reversal, not only just in physical appearance, but in biochemistry, physiology, you know, bodily function, mental function, complete organ rejuvenation. I don't know. It sounds like too good to be true, but we're, I'm testing that. I'm going to test, see what happens to my old age stuff, like my high cholesterol and my blood pressure and all that after some time. And uh, we got uh, ones that we're testing now are increased physical and mental energy. Um, and then we're testing sleep optimization and coming up are, uh, let's see, I got to just do this little bit by little bit though, because I'm only one person, social anxiety. And Eric says, I need a completely different script and uh, uh, frequency sequence for other types of, all other types of anxiety. And then PTSD, uh, cognitive ability and memory is another one coming up, weight optimization uh is another one diabetes one and also diabetes two diabetes one it also includes stopping the autoimmune dis dis um, destruction of you know that causes the diabetes in the first place and uh, i don't know probably, i think adhd might be one of them coming up anyway he tells me what to do i, I go with my dowsing rod sometimes now i just channel it and i say is that what you want yeah but before it was like what does it start with a vowel or a consonant and I do this when I'm getting messages for people's loved ones or guardian angels, when I'm trying to figure out their guardian angel name, which is also something we do. And um, anyway, so I, okay, is it consonant? Oh, because I'd rather be a vowel. That's so much easier. Okay, is it a consonant between um, M and Z? Uh, okay, is it a consonant between B and M? And then, okay, is it a constant, is it a constant between M and F, B and F and blah, 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 blah. And I get to the first, okay, that's the first one. And now what's the second, what's the second one uh, letter? So that's, it, it takes forever. So sometimes, but now again, it's a little easier because I can sort of make an educated guess about it. Um, but anyway, uh, that is my journey from kitchen to she shed. And uh, now I don't have to use Palo Santo anymore. Thank God. I don't have to put oil on my crown chakra because we found out that one of the guides on my divine team was not aligned with my highest good. And he was giving, give, giving me incorrect information because when I expanded my crown chakra to its maximum width, that's one of the services, negative entities got in. So it was just, oh, it was just a mess, chaos. So now I don't do that. And um, yeah, I know how to ask, what to ask, et cetera. Anyway, check it out, atlantisscalar.com, A-T-L-A-N-T-I-S-S-C-A-L-A-R.com. Uh, and, you know, if you want to be a volunteer for any of these new things, don't tell me now, please. Just wait until I announce it. And if you want to just send me an email so that you are part of just say, hi, I want to be part of the, you know, list. 
then um just to, you know that then you automatically get the broadcast email when i make that an announcement so anyway love you guys bye stay safe and remember remember we are here to learn how to love and also we are here to remember that we are love all right that's it love you bye